Hey, what's up guys? Going over the Xenon HD ROM real quick for the Nexus 6. Now, one thing I want you to be very clear about is this ROM will force encryption. So if you are currently running an unencrypted Nexus device and you flash this ROM Xenon HD, it will in fact re-enable encryption. Unfortunately, it's just the option that comes with the ROM, so be very aware of that. One of the first things you will notice about the Xenon HD ROM is it does have a personalization settings menu in here you have your home status bar and miscellaneous this is going to have all of the most advanced features in the home and app launcher you will have a slim launcher baked in i do have the apex manually installed you do have a status bar and in here you're going to have your brightness control your quick pull down settings and your quick pull down is unfortunately limited to the right side only you don't have the ability to choose the left like some other roms but you can disable it if you want you do have a show notification count that you can enable the show weather option is here however i was not able to find any way to actually put that on my panel you do have network traffic and you can go in here and enable all the options you do have your clock and date settings and in here you can completely disable that you can change the color to anything you want and you can change the alignment from center or right. And of course you can display the PMs or AMs and the actual dates and you can get pretty specific and choose from any of the options they have or do a manual setting if you want to go and put your own string value in. You do have your battery style here that you can choose from icon or portrait landscapes. You have a circle or text value or you can hide it all together. Same goes with the percentage indicator. You can place it within the icon next to the icon or disable it completely. You do have in your miscellaneous folder the quick settings and in here you can change the order of your toggles you can actually delete toggles or add them there is a nice selection you can choose from you can also disable this brightness slider if you want if you're going to use the brightness slider based on the status bar from swiping left or right or if you use just automatic brightness you can also go and toggle the advanced quick settings on your gps so you can actually toggle this on or off or choose your modes within the pull down itself you also have the ability to vibrate on touch, so if you enable or disable a toggle, you will have some feedback. You can show force expanded notifications if the application supports that. You have an auto close panel feature. You have clear all recents, and in this, you do have the ability to display that clear all button anywhere you want to, both on top and bottom. You do have customization on your status or navigation bar here, excuse me. You can change both the size on the landscape or portrait mode. So if you go in here, you will notice that you can change the size of the actual width there on the bar itself or any specific actual dimensions. So you can change that based on each orientation. So that's pretty nice. You can also disable that completely if you do not use that. I use Pi controls but that option is left up to you ultimately. And you can even get so far as to customizing the icons or buttons themselves. You can place them, rearrange them. You can go into your advanced settings and actually add more page layouts. You also have the heads up notifications and you can disable this completely if that is something you do not like. Or you can change it based on two to 10 seconds or never. You can also disable certain applications with the do not disturb or blacklisted feature. You also have expanded desktop which will basically put your device or display into a full screen mode you can enable that for everything or you can go and set up each app accordingly you do have in display at the very bottom the ambient display timeout settings so you can go in here and you can adjust the values based on whether or not you want that to be initialized longer or shorter and you do have double tap to sleep so you can double tap on that status bar if you want to put your device to sleep you do have a buttons menu and in here you can enable stuff for your power button so if you want to add more things accordingly you can go in here and adjust that based on the features you want or need you do have the ability to use your volume rockers to wake the device and you can choose playback control options and reorient the volume button. So if you are watching media in landscape, you can basically invert your volume rockers. It's a pretty nice feature to have. You also have down here system profiles and you can set that up to change your toggles or settings based on your location. You also have the option to disable that completely and to show it in your power menu button if you have that enabled. You do have in privacy your privacy guard, which will block applications from accessing your personal data if you choose to use that. You do have blacklist to blacklist numbers or text from people in general. Security settings are pretty basic. As I mentioned, you are in fact going to be encrypted with Xenon HD. You can see it right there. There is no way to disable it. You also have your advanced reboot option here and the developer options that you can choose and change. And of course your animation scales if you want to change that up. 
you can go in there and use that. But that pretty much sums it up. Just be very aware that it does in fact re-encrypt your Nexus 6. If you are unencrypted, you will be encrypted when you flash this. So if that is something you don't want, stay away. But other than that, it's a pretty stable ROM. It has some pretty great features. It looks nice and it's very stable. It does in fact run Android 5.0.2 with the latest version from the 27th as of this video. Obviously there will be a much updated version if you watch this at a later date. But anyways guys, that sums it up. I will leave everything in the description you are going to need to get this ROM on your Nexus device. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below as well. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos in the future. I have a lot of stuff on the way. And as always, I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace.